Welcome back troglodytes to Would You Rock or Not. Today we have a J200 that has been painted like a cow. The J Moo 100. To fully understand this guitar, let's do a little bit of history. This model, initially known as the Super Jumbo, was introduced in 1937 as the top of the line flat top acoustic. It was later renamed the SJ200 in 1939, and then finally they just dropped the S for the J200 in 1955. Initially, these were a spruce top with rosewood back and sides, but in 1947, the sides and back were switched to maple. But this particular one was made in 1997 for a commercial, which unfortunately didn't get made. What commercial was it? Well, it was probably something milk related, I would guess, but unfortunately it was never produced and that part of its history is lost. It probably would have been a cool commercial though, because from the factory it had steer horns you could put on the tuner pegs to give it the cow vibe even further. But this J200 was given a special cow finish. So that means you have a base white coat with black splotches. Now, there's a million ways to have done this finish wrong, but they've done it so well, it looks just like a cow. And this poor thing has been on quite a journey. First off, this guitar was listed on Reverb about eight days ago, but you're gonna notice this listing is now for a J180, and you'll notice it's from a seller in Russia. So I asked the seller what had happened and he said he sold it, but instead of just marking it as ended so we could have good photos without photo buckets watermark all over them, it just got changed to the J180. But if it was just recently sold in Russia locally, I've tracked this guitar back to a forum post in 2013 when it was in Atlanta, Georgia. And following the story of what was told here, somebody said it was on eBay before that guy got it. So this went from the Gibson factory, likely in Montana, all the way to Georgia, and who knows, been between there, and then it made it to Russia. This cow's been on a real journey. But unfortunately, despite all the different owners, there has never been a sound demo show up. So I'll go ahead and play you one of another J200 from this era. question left, would you rock the J Mu 100 guitar or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.